Welcome to beautiful British Columbia, Canada. Today's 25-minute yoga practice is going to be all about reconnection and releasing tension out of the body and mind. We will go deep into the hips and upper body, helping you target the sensitive areas where not only do we hold physical tension, but also stress, anxiety, and fear. So if you're ready to let go and release, grab your mat and let's begin. Today's video is sponsored and brought to you by Blinkist. Blinkist is one of our favorite apps to use whenever we are on the go as it takes the best nonfiction books and condenses them down into 15 minutes of the most valuable and easy digestible information for you to read or listen to. At the moment, Blinkist has over 3,000 books for you to choose from. And as we've been on the road and traveling, we've been diving deeper into our own personal collection as well. That includes A Return to Love, a 13-minute read, The Art of Happiness by the Dalai Lama, a 15-minute read, The Book by Alan Watts, 13-minute read, and Walden by Henry David Thoreau, a 16-minute read. This is a great app that we're proud to recommend to anyone that is looking for a quick 15-minute refresh of their favorite books or to gain some of the most valuable key points from many other inspiring authors and books that are out there. And today, if you click the link below in the description of this video, you could be one of the first 100 people to get unlimited access for one week for free to try it out and you can cancel at any time during that period. Plus, as a Boho Beautiful viewer, you'll also get 25% off if you decide you want the full membership. With that said, let's get back to our practice. Grab your mat and let's begin. All right, friends, let's get started today in child's pose. So go ahead and reach your arms all the way to the front of your mat. Sit right over to your heels. And then go ahead and bring the palms of your hands together, bending your elbows in a prayer position. What we're doing here is taking a moment to release the body in child's pose while at the same time giving the triceps and the upper body a little bit more of a deeper stretch. And just feeling yourself release into the mat here as you welcome this practice, as you take a deep breath in and exhale any tension out of your mind, out of your body, giving yourself permission to go into the present moment and to simply focus on your breath, on your movement, and on your connection to yourself, your body, and your mind. Beautiful. Just taking another deep breath in here. And then slowly as you exhale, extending the elbows and just release the hands back down onto the mat. And then slowly roll yourself forward into all fours position. We're going to take our puppy pose. So what you're going to do is just simply let the chest and the heart drop towards the earth. Same thing with the arms. Palms together. Bend at your elbows. And allow your chest to slowly let go closer towards the earth with each exhalation. Feeling yourself open up through the heart, through the upper back, through the shoulders, feeling that nice stretch in the triceps. Making sure that your hips are staying directly over top of your knees. And again, just really focus on your breath. Let your breath be the guiding force of your practice today. And with each exhalation, when you let go of that tension, that energy, that resistance that is no longer serving you in any way, exhale it out and give yourself permission to surrender to the moment. Inhale. And slowly exhale. Go ahead and extend your elbows. Begin to roll yourself up, so look to the front of your mat, and then start to round through the spine. Walk your hands back, tuck your toes underneath, and then press into the hands as you lift the hips up towards the sky, coming into your downward facing dog. Keeping your feet open and apart, walk it out on the spot first. By adding this gentle movement, you're releasing any tension or stiffness in the back of your legs, releasing tension out of your hamstrings, your calves, 
opening through that downward facing dog and taking that big exhale out. Let your heart open up. Chest is open. Your sternum is falling towards the mat. The palms of your hands are grounded and secure on the earth. Feeling every finger on your mat, pressing, grounding, feeling that energy. Beautiful. One more inhale. And then as you exhale, begin to walk your feet to the front of your mat. Now take maybe four or six steps until you come all the way forward. Keep your feet slightly apart to make this easier. And then relax your body over top of your legs. Grab your opposite elbows and begin to rock side to side. Allowing your entire upper body to be super loose here. Giving into the gravity. Letting yourself decompress the spine. Inhale. And then as you exhale, slowly round up to standing. Holding onto those elbows. Coming up into a straight back. Then reaching both arms up to the sky. And then exhale, bring your hands over to your heart and place both hands on your heart. Close your eyes and take this opportunity right now to just find that center. Feel your feet grounded on the mat. Feel your heart beating in your chest, reminding you of your practice, of your presence, of your breath. Beautiful. One more inhale. This time, reach both arms up to the sky. Exhale, dive all the way down into forward fold, bend your knees. Feel free to open up your feet a little bit if that's easier. Inhale halfway. Exhale, step back into your plank position. Chaturanga or drop the knees down, the chest and then the chin to the mat. Sliding yourself forward, coming up into your upward facing dog. And then exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Breathe it out. Again, coming back to that breath, coming back to that intention. Letting go of all that no longer serves you, physically, mentally, spiritually. Let it go with each exhale. Once you're ready, I'd like you to reach your right leg up towards the sky. Bend that knee and then place that right foot to the outside of your mat, coming into your lizard pose. Drop the back knee to the mat. Hands are grounded. And here you can either stay where you are or come on down lower onto your elbows if that feels more comfortable for you today. Or another variation is to press that right knee away from your body with that same hand. And then as you're pressing that knee away from you, you're slightly leaning back. So the goal and purpose of this particular posture is for you to find exactly what feels right on your body. Notice where your body is holding on to tension. Find that spot in your hips or your hip flexor and breathe deeply into it. Inhale. Now as you exhale, release that hand. Bring it back over towards the mat if it's not already there. See if you can bring the chest lower towards the ground and hold here. Now you can either stay on your elbows or you can even rest your forehead like I'm doing. It all depends on how this feels on your body today. Inhale, come back up now. Tuck your back toes. We're going to simply transition into our pigeon pose by bending that front knee, bring the heel towards the outside of your hip and then bring that front knee towards the front of your mat. So right knee at your right thumb, other shin is down, you're walking yourself over to your elbows and then dropping your body all the way down. I like to stack my hands and my forearms and then rest my forehead down. But again, please listen to how it feels on your body. Maybe you'd like to grab a prop, placing a pillow underneath your hip or a yoga block if you have one. Or perhaps you just want to stay up higher with your upper body. Finding that position that allows you to go deep into the piriformis muscle, into your glute. And then breathing deeply and peacefully into it. Our glutes tend to hold to a lot of tension, a lot of stress. So I want you to relax. I want you to let go into this posture. 
And with each exhalation, mindfully and consciously, let go of whatever's been holding you back. Let go of the fear, the anxiety, the uncertainty. And find this deeper peace and acceptance of being exactly where you are today. Remembering that this life is a journey and you will make it through whatever it is that life throws your way. And in this moment right now, I just want you to breathe. I want you to breathe it all out. I want you to let go of everything that is holding you back. Let go of pain. Find forgiveness. Find peace. And love. Just breathe it in. And slowly let it go as you begin to lift your body back up, grounding the palms of your hands and then just shifting your weight onto that same right hip and then opening yourself up so you're using the width of your mat, extending that back leg so now the toes are pointed up to the sky and just reach to the side. Now you don't have to grab your toes, you can simply just keep your top arm reaching to see where that restriction in the body is. And what we're doing here is really breathing deeply into the side body. Good. Just close your eyes and focus again on just that inhalation and exhalation. Good. Coming back to center. Returning back and just turn your hips and step back into your downward facing dog. Beautiful. Inhale. Exhale. Let's do the other side. Left leg reaches up to the sky. Bend your left knee. Step your left foot to the outside of your mat. Drop the back knee to the floor. And then feel free to release the toes and play around with it, finding that exact position that feels best on your body today. So maybe you're going to push that knee away and open up the chest looking up to the sky. Maybe you want to come down onto your elbows. Or maybe you just want to stay still and straight and work on breathing deeply into your hip flexors, into your hips. Get another area of the body that tends to hold on to that physical and mental pain and tension. So breathing is very important here. Not only are we releasing muscle tension, but we're releasing that emotional tension as well. Breathe it out. Let it go. Now, if your hand is on that front knee, just do a big circle with that arm and bring the hand towards the front of your mat and come on down to your elbows, maybe, or all the way down with your forehead to the floor. For some of you, this might be too much, so you want to stay on your elbows. But just see if you can bring your upper body a little bit closer towards the ground. That really is the goal. Awesome. Now slowly lift your body back up, tuck your back toes, and we're going to transition into our pigeon. So just bring that front knee back in, and then left knee, left thumb, release the shin to the floor. Make sure the hips are square. Open up through the body, and then walk yourself forward. So once again, friends, you can come down to your elbows. You can come all the way down with your chest. Or maybe you'd like to use a prop today and have maybe a pillow or a yoga block in front of you so you can rest on top of that. Use whatever you got to use to make yourself comfortable. And once you got that pigeon position and you're feeling that release in your glute muscle, really start to bring your awareness now to the breath. The breath is going to be your guiding force and allowing you to relax. Allowing the body to go into that parasympathetic nervous system to trigger it, which will allow everything to relax, which in return will also help you increase flexibility, release muscle tension, stiffness, and give your mind a moment to reconnect 
with your breath, with your heart, and with your inner self. Stay with the breath. With each exhalation, let go of everything that no longer serves you. With each inhalation, welcoming beautiful energy into your body. Welcoming the energy of strength, power, compassion, joy, and love. Welcome that energy into your heart. And let it radiate through the entire body, healing you from within. Beautiful. Now let's slowly come out. And you're going to shift your weight over to that left hip. Swing the back leg around and come open using the width of your mat into a single legged butterfly. Arms reaching up to the sky. Then as you exhale, you're going to take that opposite arm and reach towards those toes. Either grabbing the toes or just holding your arms extended. The other arm is relaxed. Your elbow may be down on the mat or just reaching. And see if you can turn your head so you're looking up towards the sky, allowing your shoulders to stack and be open. Breathing deep into the intercostal muscles, the muscles in between your rib cage. Letting go of any tension, welcoming more oxygen to that body. Awesome, come on up. And then just shift your weight forward. And then you're gonna swing that front leg around hands onto the mat step back downward facing dog good if your feet feel a little bit sore or your legs feel sore just walk it out on the spot breathe deeply in your downward dog inhale then as you exhale walk towards the front of your mat taking as many steps as needed bend your knees palms together slowly roll up to standing inhale big reach up to the sky exhale Dive your body to the floor. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, you're going to step back into plank position, taking your chaturanga or drop down to the knees, chest, and chin. Inhale, release and open into that upward facing dog. Exhale, push back, downward facing dog. Beautiful. Take another breath in. Exhale, walk your feet to the front again. Keep your feet slightly open, relax your upper body, and then slowly roll yourself up to standing. One more time, inhale, we're going to reach both arms up to the sky. Exhale, palms together, bring your hands back over to your heart, and place your hands onto your heart. Close your eyes, and then just take that big exhalation out, finding your grounding, your energy, your center your peace, and your calm within you. Coming back to the intention that you set in the beginning of your practice today. Reconnecting with your body, with your mind, with your inner self. Beautiful. Now lift the heels off the mat and open up the arms wide. So just balancing on your tippy toes. Then begin to bend your knees coming into what we call our cosmic eggs you're just going to give your knees a big hug with your both arms and the tricky part here is to keep your heels off the mat so you are balancing on your tippy toes while at the same time rounding out through the spine and just giving yourself an act of self-love hugging your body giving your body love Good. One more inhale. Just try to balance here. Just let go of your upper body. And then hands are going to release and slowly guide you onto the mat. Extending your legs in front of you. Inhale. Open up that chest and heart. 
Then as you exhale, keep your legs together, roll yourself onto your mat, and we're gonna take our fish pose. So first, reaching both arms up over your head, lengthening the body, and then take the arms down and then place the palms of your hands face down or right underneath your sit bones or your glutes. Then from here, shift your weight onto the elbows, arching the back and lifting up through the heart. Now make sure most of your weight is in your elbows, in your arms, so you're not putting any pressure on the top of your head. So you're really balancing in the upper body here. But you're just keeping that head the way it is to really open up through the throat, lifting the heart up to the sky, really focusing on bringing more energy into the heart and throat chakra. Stay as long as you're comfortable, so if at any point you need to come out earlier, feel free to do so. Now to come out of this posture, first what you're going to do is bring the chin closer towards your chest. Then from here, you release the upper body and drop the spine to the floor, and then relax, bringing both knees into the body, giving yourself a big hug. You can lift the head off the mat or keep it grounded, whatever feels good for you. Rocking gently side to side, again massaging your spine, you're stimulating that parasympathetic nervous system. And then bring the soles of your feet together into Supta Baddha Konasana, placing one hand on your chest, the other hand on your belly. And let us come into this final posture of a practice where we can really focus on deep relaxation. And keeping your hands exactly where they are, we're going to just practice a quick breathing exercise called your three-part breath. So as you're staying here, I'd like you to consciously inhale and feel the belly rise. And then begin to move that air upward through the rib cage, and all the way up towards the heart and the chest, all in one breath. And then as you exhale, move your breath downward from the heart through the rib cage, and then through the belly as you relax. So doing that again, inhale, belly, ribs, chest, and exhale, chest, ribs, and belly. And again, belly, fill your body up with oxygen, ribs, chest, exhale, let it go out of the chest, ribs, and belly. Feel free to continue to do this breathing exercise at your own pace. With your eyes closed, each time you exhale, I want you to relax and surrender deeper and deeper into your mat. Letting go of tension, letting go of any energy that is causing you to feel heavy. Let that heaviness release into Mother Earth, surrendering it, letting it go. And with each inhalation, I want you to welcome powerful, strong energy that fills every cell of your body with strength, with love, with compassion. Feel free to visualize this energy as a ball of beautiful white light entering your body. And then filling your body with this beautiful light. Giving you that energy that you're seeking right now. That power that you need, that strength to get through whatever you need. Inhale. And exhale. If at any point you wish to extend your legs, you may do so. Just stay here. Stay with yourself. With your heart. Let go of your body. 
Inhale. Exhale, let slowly now reach the arms over your head, giving yourself a nice upper body stretch. And then once you're ready, bring your knees together and then roll over to one side. And then slowly, at your own pace, come on up to your seated position on your mat so we can close off this practice together. Sitting at the center of your mat with your feet crossed in front of you. You may rest your hands on the knees with the palms up or palms down. And just take a couple of final breaths here with your eyes closed. This time, feeling that energy from the base of your spine to the crown of your head. Feeling that strength, that renewed source of energy to guide you through your day. Feel free to bring your palms together now and just rest them at your heart. Close your eyes. Close off your practice by simply breathing deeply into the heart. Taking this moment to thank yourself for this time that you spent on the mat. For taking this time out of your busy schedule and doing something good that serves you and your heart. For breathing, for moving, and for simply being one with yourself. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I send you all my love. And I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Namaste. Thank you. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, we would love for you to click that like and subscribe button to help our content rise to the top. Have a beautiful day and we'll see you soon.